Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. Today, I invite you to look with me into the Gospel of Luke, the 17th chapter, verses 20 through 37. Uh, Jesus begins to let us see that one day the Pharisees ask him, will the kingdom of God come? Jesus replied, the kingdom of God can't be detected by visible signs. You won't be able to say, here it is, or it's over there, for the kingdom of God is already among you. Then he said to his disciples, the time is coming when you will long to see when the Son of Man returns. In our contemporary world, we need to know that the kingdom of God is among us because God is among us. We must always know that Jesus came into this world. There will be people who will tell you, look, there is the Son of Man. Look, there is the Messiah. We see all the flashing lights. We see all the things that are happening. We see all the smoking glass that people try to throw up to make you believe that they are far more than what they are. But we must remind ourselves that the Bible teaches us that Jesus loves us and the kingdom of God is already with us. We find out even as the son of man comes to capture us and to call us back home, we must know it will be like it was in the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, people were going on with their lives as Noah was building an ark. People were having banquet, they were having parties, they were having weddings, they were having children, they were doing all the things that you would do in life to keep life going. But it says in the midst of all of that, Noah said it's going to rain. You and I must be mindful that one day the Lord will come. And when he comes, we must be ready. The text begins to remind us it will be as it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember that city because of its sin, it went up in smoke, it burned, and they were given a charge, don't look back. I wanna remind us that when you and I have our vision, our sight focused on Jesus, we cannot look back. Because when we look back, we will see the horrors of the past. When we look forward with our faith in Almighty God, we know everything will be all right. The text says, remember Lot's wife. Remember when Lot's wife turned back to look at the city, she turned into a pillar of salt. In essence, she was changed by her rear view. May all of us look to Jesus. May all of us look ahead. We must make sure that we know that the Lord is coming back and let's be ready. I can remember a song that was saying many years ago that said, Lord, let me be ready when you come back. I want to be ready when Jesus comes. We must know that the kingdom of God is at hand. God wants all of us to share the good news of the gospel with everybody that we meet. But we must always look forward because God wants us to press on towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Today, I want to remind you the kingdom of God is coming. So fix your sights on Jesus. Always be focused on him and you will never turn back. I don't know about you but I'm gonna keep my eyes on Jesus. In this year of 2022, God has a great blessing in store for you and you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And I'll look forward to worshiping with you tomorrow in our virtual worship service. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select sow a seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.